Hi everyone, Steve here. Uh, well, long overdue update. Apologies for that. It's been a crazy Christmas, and then with lockdown, um, the team have been really stretched, just kind of get, getting their feet basically. But uh, yeah, it's first, it's been great. I'm up here with Harry today, and just having a wee reflection on things, and it's, it's just so wonderful to see these animals in the shed, and they're settling in really well. Um, milking has, has started properly now, um, so we're milking eight animals at the moment, and we're uh, the, the milk yield's going up every day, which is great. Um, there's about 20 odd expected in this pen to calve uh, in February, so we're just about the next week's job is to pick the ones that are closest to calving and get them out onto the straw courts. But they're getting used to their parlour um, in a new environment, and yeah, it's actually going better than I could have possibly hoped. So, absolutely delighted with that. Um, I think it would be such a beautiful day, it would be really wrong of me not to walk down and show you the amazing view, which kind of really inspires me every time I see it, to be honest. Hey, what's that? This is the feeder that we feed the silage with, Harry. Yeah, we put the bales in and we attach it to the tractor and then it chops the bales up and puts it all out nice for the buffalo to eat. That's how they like it. Do your job when you're bigger. Promise. Yes. Harry's totally tractor daft. Happy Harry. Yes, tractors. Yeah. That's the trailer, Harry. So anyway, yeah. Um, <laughs> So doing an update, I should tell you where we're at. Um, good news is that basically the parlour and the, the, the shed, etc., for milking is all virtually complete, apart from a few little snags. We walk a little bit further around. Beautiful building behind us is the is the factory. It's uh, again virtually completed. There's a few little bits, of, a few more snags in there, but not too many. In our office and uh, we staff room, etc. The buildings look particularly beautiful in the in the snow. But um, we are aiming to make our first ice cream this month, uh, which will be really exciting, and we'll obviously update you on that. We're hoping, um, but the, once the yields and more, more of the buffalo calve, as I said, we've got about 20 to calve. We've got enough milk, we'll start making some mozzarella maybe early March, um, is, is, is what we're hoping for. So, uh, yeah, lots of progress, lots still to be done. As many of you will know, this was a dairy farm many years ago. I think it's been close on 30 years since there was animals on this farm. So there's no fences out in these fields that you see around us, so that, that needs to happen. The field, fields need to be planted in grass. Um, and we need to put water troughs in and we need to put a new road in. We might also have to kind of make it a little bit buffalo friendly with a few water holes and stuff. But they tend to kind of do that themselves. But uh, from a farming point of view, we've got all that to do. From you guys' point of view, as the amazing founders that kind of helped make all this happen, I want to take you in and show you, I think we've possibly showed it before, but just give you a wee update of the, the wall that we tend to tell the story. So, Go in here, it's all a bit grey and concrete just now. Um, it's a lovely milk tank where the milk will come out of the parlour. But these walls we're hoping to turn into a, a story wall. Oh, Harry wants to go on his tractor. It's also Harry's tractor place. But these walls are all going to carry the name of names of our founders, um, as well as the story behind how how it all all happened. Because this building would not have been built if it hadn't been for you founders that jumped in and supported and made it all happen. So we walk around here, we can say hello to Juan. Juan just washed up. Juan, you got a minute to say hello? We'll put you on camera. <laughs> Doing a little founders thing. So Juan is uh, absolutely probably the most, there's been a lot of amazing coincidences and stories, but Juan is uh, a buffalo farmer from Venezuela. He's born uh, on a buffalo farm, his grandfather started it 60 years ago. And how many buffalo do you milk in Venezuela? Around 350. 350 buffalo. Uh, yeah, tell us a little, a little bit about Venezuela, Juan. Well, uh, for sure it's a little bit warmer than here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's quite really good 
uh, as no fear for Buffalo, so it's really, it's really tough. Uh, it's been a while, we've been struggling for a lot of time, but uh, finally we got the things right and we're happy with Buffalo. Uh, well, all my family is dedicated to that, so quite good to be here as well, trying to help a little bit and see what we can do. Juan is extremely modest. Juan is helping massively uh, make this all happen. Um, so much knowledge. I'd say it's fair to say Juan has probably uh, you know, just contributed so much enthusiasm and, and knowledge and understanding of Buffalo. So really lucky to have him here making it all happen. Um, anyway, guys, I'll finish up on that note. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. And I promise this Founders Wall is going to uh, do you guys all justice. We're really looking forward to making that happen. So watch this space. Ice cream this month, mozzarella next month. Things are happening here at the Buffalo Farm. Cheers for watching. Bye now.